At the Edge of the Sea, a story of change to inspire a resilient future for historic Beaufort and its beloved Rachel Carson Reserve. Beaufort is a coastal town located in Carteret County, North Carolina. Beaufort is bordered to the south by the Beaufort Inlet, which leads to the Atlantic Ocean. Just off the coast of historic downtown Beaufort lies the Rachel Carson Reserve, a complex of islands that was protected in 1985 as part of the North Carolina National Estuarine Research Reserve. Because of Beaufort's oceanfront location, the town is vulnerable to both local and global oceanic changes. Before modern coastal engineering, hurricanes were especially devastating to the town. The Great Beaufort Hurricane of 1879 flooded the waterfront in eight feet of water, with winds estimated to be up to 165 miles per hour. Beaufort was originally known as Fishtown due to its rich fishery resources. Today, Beaufort's economy is largely based on recreation and tourism, with food services and accommodation functioning as the largest industries. Tourists are able to take ferries or their own vessels to the Rachel Carson Reserve and enjoy over 2,000 acres of salt marsh, tidal flats, sand dunes, maritime forest, and ocean beach. They might even catch a glimpse of the resident wild horses while on their trip. Changes within and around Beaufort have not been limited to the economy, but have extended to the environment, as the surrounding Beaufort Inlet area has undergone both man-made and natural changes over the years. In 1915, the United States Army Corps of Engineers installed a rock bulkhead extending over 3,800 feet between Town Marsh and Carrot Island to trap sand moving in from the south and to reduce shoaling in Beaufort Harbor. In effect, this bulkhead also helped connect Town Marsh and Carrot Island and build elevation between them. Additionally, the Corps began a long-term dredging project to increase and maintain the navigability of Beaufort Harbor and Taylor's Creek. Sediments removed from the bottom of the waterways were deposited on top of the shoals and marshes of the future Rachel Carson Reserve. This practice continues on a limited basis today. For over 100 years, these federal navigation projects have helped to shelter downtown Beaufort from experiencing extreme devastation from storms similar to the Great Beaufort Hurricane of 1879. These projects have also led to an increase in sand accumulation, allowing for new salt marshes to form and significantly expand the Rachel Carson Reserve. Beaufort Inlet has also been modified by dredging, with the removal of hundreds of thousands of cubic meters of sand on a nearly annual basis. Dredging, combined with the natural movement of the inlet on the east-west axis, has influenced the reserve shorelines for about 100 years. One of the first areas where dredge materials were deposited is Bird Shoal, located directly across from the Beaufort Inlet. However, from 1942 to 2020, Bird Shoal has since seen a dramatic decrease in sediment along its southwest shore. This area has also been affected by far-reaching environmental change, such as sea level rise. Sea levels in Beaufort have risen roughly 3.3 millimeters per year from the early 1950s through today. Although this number may seem small, this change is having significant impacts on the town of Beaufort through increased frequency of flooding during blue sky conditions. Historic homes dating back to the early 1800s, such as the Duncan House on the west end of Front Street, are currently being elevated to prevent future flooding. Sea level rise is expected to continue to threaten the vulnerable shorelines of both Beaufort and the Rachel Carson Reserve. Environmental change in the Beaufort area involves a complex system that is influenced by natural processes such as sediment movement and man-made actions such as engineering and dredging. Understanding these changes can help us plan for and envision a future where habitats are resilient and Beaufort continues to be protected by these natural features. What will Beaufort and the Rachel Carson Reserve look like in 30 years? 100 years? The answer lies with us.